Ever wondered how to get these kind of results? If you never heard about structured data or don't know how to use it, then come along and we'll figure it out together. In our Google search documentation, we have this lovely gallery of what we call rich results. While the details differ between them, they are all powered by structured data. Structured data usually looks something like this. It can be inserted somewhere into the page and helps machines, such as Googlebot and others, to better understand the content. Structured data can come in the form of microdata in the HTML, RDFA, or JSON-LD. We do recommend JSON-LD, though. In our gallery of all the different types of structured data that we might use for enhancing the search result appearance of a page, you can use the different formats. To use structured data in your site, you can either edit the HTML of your pages, if that option is available to you, or if you use a CMS, like WordPress, for example, you can use plugins to help you add structured data to your pages that way. On platforms like Wix or Shopify, you can usually also add structured data through their interfaces. Consult the documentation of your platform to learn more about this. But how do you know if your structured data is working as expected? Because adding structured data doesn't guarantee that search results will show a rich result for the page. To make sure that the structured data is correct and valid, you can use the rich results test tool to take a look at it from Google's perspective. And again, adding structured data makes it possible for Google Search to show a rich result, but it does not guarantee it. All right, we've looked at what it is, how to add it to our pages, and how to check structured data if we did it right. I hope you've seen that it's not rocket science and makes your pages eligible for a bunch of nice features in the search results. I hope it was interesting and useful and you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to stay tuned for more content like this. And last but not least, let me know in the comments if there are any other topics you'd like us to explore in videos like this one. After all, thanks for watching and see you soon.